Hello friends and welcome once again to my YouTube channel Engineering Physics by Sanju. This is a third session in MCQ series on electrodynamics. Hope this session will help you in preparation of different competitive exams like MSTCT, JEE Main, NEET, etc. If you like this session, please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. So let us start with the session. This is the first question in this session. Which of the following theorem use the curl operation? Options are Green's theorem, Gauss divergence theorem, Stokes theorem and Maxwell's equation. Surface integral of curl of a vector function over the surface area S is equal to line integral of the vector function V bar over the closed curve P binding that surface. This is called as fundamental theorem for curl and also called as Stokes theorem. And therefore, the answer to this question is Stokes theorem. Next question. The curl of a curl of a vector results in a. The options are scalar, vector, zero value, non-zero value. When the del operator acts on a vector function via cross product, we get curl of that vector function. So cross product results in a vector. And if you take curl of that vector, it will also be a vector because it is also a cross product. And therefore, curl of a curl of a vector results in a vector. So here B is the correct option. Next question. V bar is equal to x y cap. Is this vector irrotational? Options are yes, no, can't say. This is not a vector. When curl of a vector is 0, then such vector is called as irrotational vector. So to determine whether the given vector is irrotational, we will have to find curl of this vector. So let us find curl of V bar. Curl of V bar can be found by solving this determinant, in which first row is unit vectors, second row is components of del operator and third row is components of the given vector x component of this vector is 0, y component is x and z component is again 0. So curl of v bar will be x cap del 0 by del y minus del x by del z plus y cap del 0 by del z minus del 0 by del x plus z cap del x by del x minus del 0 by del y. This will result in 0, this will result in 0 this will result in 0, this will result in 0, del x by del x is 1, del 0 by del y is again 0. And therefore, curl of v bar turns out to be 0 x cap plus 0 y cap plus 1 z cap, that is z cap. Here we have noted that curl of v bar is z cap, which is not 0. And therefore, the given vector is not irrotational. So, b is the correct option here. v bar is not irrotational. Let us move on to the next question. The curl of a vector field f bar x y z that is x square i cap plus 2 z j cap minus y k cap is the options are minus 3 i cap minus 3 j cap minus 3 k cap and 0. So let us find the correct option here. To find curl of this vector function f bar, let us solve this determinant in which first row is unit vectors, second row is components of del operator and third row is components of the given vector. Here unit vectors are specified as i cap, j cap and k cap along x, y and z direction respectively. Components of del operator are del by del x, del by del y and del by del z and the components of given vector are x component is x square, y component is 2z and z component is minus y. So curl of the given vector function will be i del minus y by del y minus del 2z by del z minus j cap del minus y by del x minus del x square by del z plus k cap del 2z by del x minus del x square by del y. Here del minus y by del y will result in minus 1, del 2z by del z will result in 2, del minus y by del x will 
result in zero because y is treated as constant here. Del x square by del z will also result in zero because x is treated as constant. Del 2z by del x will result in zero and del x square by del y will also result in zero. So here minus one minus two i cap that is minus three i cap is the answer. Curl of f bar is minus three i cap. So here a is the correct option. Next one. Calculate the curl of v bar if v bar is equal to minus y x cap plus x y cap. The given options are minus three x cap, minus two y cap, two z cap, two y cap. So let us find the curl of the given vector function. To find the curl of the given vector function, let us solve this determinant in which first row is unit vectors along x y and z direction, second row is Components of del operator del by del x that is x component del by del y that is y component and del by del z that is z component and third row is components of the given vector x component is minus y y component is x and z component is zero. So this determinant will result in x cap del zero by del y minus del x by del z plus y cap del minus y by del z. Minus del zero by del x plus z cap del x by del x minus del minus y by del y. Del zero by del y will result in zero. Del x by del z also zero. Del minus y by del z zero and del zero by del x also zero. Del x by del x will result in one and del minus y by del y will result in minus one. So here. 1 minus minus 1 z cap that is 1 plus 1 z cap that is 2 z cap. So curl of the given vector function v bar is 2 z cap. So here c is the correct option. This is the next one. Divergence of a curl of a vector field is the options are 0, infinite, 1, minus 1. When we find curl of a vector, it will be perpendicular to the given vector because it is a cross product. And if we find divergence of this vector, that is divergence of curl of a vector, then it will result in dot product of two vectors which are perpendicular to each other, and it will obviously zero because dot product of perpendicular vectors is zero. So divergence of curl of a vector field is zero. Next one, vector field f bar is irrotational if the options are curl of f bar is zero, divergence of f bar is zero, gradient of f bar is zero. Irrotational vector field means curl is zero. So vector f bar is irrotational if curl of f bar is zero. So here a is the correct option. Next one. The curl of gradient of a scalar function is the options are infinite, one, zero, del f by del x x cap plus del f by del y y cap plus del f by del z z cap. Which one is the correct option? To get the answer to this question, let us consider a scalar function f x y z. Gradient of this scalar function f can be written as del f by del x x cap. Plus del f by del y y cap plus del f by del z z cap. Let us find the curl of this vector now. So curl of gradient of f will be equal to this determinant in which first row is unit vectors along x y and z axis, second row is components of del operator, and third row is components of this vector del f by del x, del f by del y, and del f by del z. So this determinant will result in x cap. Del 2f by del y del z minus del 2f by del z del del y plus y cap del 2f by del x del z minus del 2f by del z del x plus z cap del 2f by del x del y minus del 2f by del y del x. So here. This will result in zero because this will get cancelled with this. This will also be result in zero. This will get 
cancel with this and this term also will get cancel with this term and will result in zero and therefore curl of gradient of a scalar function results in zero so here c is the correct option this is the last one in this session if the divergence is zero and curl is also zero then the nature of the field is options are solenoidal rotational divergent rotational solenoidal irrotational divergent rotational when divergence is zero such vector field is called as solenoidal vector field and when curl is zero such vector field is called as irrotational vector field so here the correct option would be solenoidal and irrotational so c is the correct option here friends we are at the end of third session in mcq series on electrodynamics curl of a vector function if you find this session helpful to you please like it subscribe the channel and share it with your friends thank you once again